Hello and welcome to Dr. Malpani's YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you can be notified when we put out new videos. Patients with poor ovarian reserve, DOR or diminished ovarian reserve, have always been heart sink patients for IVF specialists. They're difficult to manage because IVF success rates in this group are usually poor. This is because they grow few eggs and we usually end up with few embryos, many of which are poor quality. A new option, which a lot of doctors seem to be offering today, is that of doing many IVF cycles back to back so that they can collect many eggs over three to four cycles, freezing the embryos, running genetic tests, CCS or comprehensive chromosomal screening on them, and then transferring the genetically normal embryos in one cycle. This is called staggered IVF with embryo banking. Now they call this procedure embryo banking or embryo stockpiling and offer it as a solution for patients who grow few eggs. It seems to be a very logical and attractive solution. After all, if the problem is that we cannot make enough embryos in one cycle, then doesn't it make sense to do multiple cycles to overcome this problem? This procedure is being marketed very cleverly and aggressively using lots of clever acronyms. However, it's a sad fact of life that biology does not overrule mathematics. The problem with these women is not just poor egg quantity, the underlying problem is poor egg quality as well. Accumulating many poor quality eggs over time to create lots of embryos makes very little biological sense. After all, if an embryo is going to become a baby, it will, even if you transfer it one embryo at a time. On the other hand, if it's a poor quality embryo which is not going to implant, then transferring many of them at one time will not help at all. After all, if the oranges are sour, the juice will also be sour, whether you use one orange or ten oranges. We believe that if you have a good quality embryo, you should transfer this, providing your uterine lining is receptive. Freezing all the embryos and doing multiple cycles just so that you can get many embryos makes no sense to us. It just adds to the cost without improving success rates. Before concluding that this is a reasonable approach for patients with poor ovarian reserve, IVF clinics need to do trials to prove this hypothesis. If you don't mind being a guinea pig and are happy to volunteer for this clinical research, that's fine. Do you need help in getting pregnant? Please send us your medical details by filling in the form at www.drmalpani.com.